Hi, everybody. Welcome back to this session about Syria and Tunisia. My name is Donatella Della Ratta. I am an Italian researcher, as you can tell from my name and my accent in English. But I'm going to talk about a country which I really love and where I had the privilege to live for five years just before the, you know, uh, I just left uh, a few months ago. Uh, this country is Syria. Um, this is a picture that I really love, and I decided to start my presentation with, with this. This is a picture from uh, Syrian artist uh, Jabr el Azme. Uh, it's a very, for me, it's a very uh, cool, I mean, it, it's a very touchful, meaningful representation of what the spirit of the revolution is about, non-violence. Um, but actually, the reason why I picked up this picture, it's not because I want to talk about Jaber or any other artist in the revolution, but I want to focus on something which relates to hands. Because actually, the first time when I was back uh, in Damascus, uh, back in uh, uh, March 15, 2011, the chant I listened to just five minutes away from my house in the center of Damascus was the Syrian people are one end. I said, wow, this is amazing for Damascus. I mean, everybody was kind of shocked. A few days after the first demonstration started in Damascus, back to March 15, I saw this uh, in the streets of Damascus. There were posters everywhere with these little raised hands saying, I am with the law. And actually, the slogan says, uh, whether small or big, I am with the law. And I was like walking through the streets of Damascus, and I used to see other posters like that with other colors, with other hands saying, uh, whether emotional or rational, I am with the law. Whether conservative or progressive, I am with the law. Whether girl or boy, I am with the law. And stuff like that. So what does it mean to be with the law? Of course, it means do not protest. Because this is, of course, a regime-baked advertising campaign, which was uh, starting in the streets of Syria just right after the first protest erupted. Probably the PR consultant firm that was advising the regime, uh, you know, decided that it was a good idea to have these little ends reminding citizens that they should abide by the law. But Soon thereafter, like a few days ago, day, days after this campaign was displayed in Damascus, I started to see small little ants everywhere in the virtual space of the internet, like this one, I am free, or this one, I lost my shoes, which means probably, you know, I have protested, I don't respect you. This is something in the Arab culture very offensive for leaders. And this one, which is actually my favorite, I am not Indian, which means you cannot fool me. Come on, I know what the law means. You guys make the law. You, the regime, make the law. I'm just a poor citizen. I don't share any process. I cannot decide anything. So do, please don't try to fool me. Uh, this was for me amazing, you know, to see in the streets of the virtual alleys of the internet, these little ants uh, popping up everywhere. At some point, probably, uh, the people that were designing the advertising campaign, especially after seeing this one, which sounds like I'm not a foreigner, so you cannot fool me, I'm not stupid, uh, decided to readjust the campaign, make it a, a little bit more neutral, probably, and they decide to do something. I am with Syria, and if you know this... Uh, hey, what's happening? This is a fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> that they can do. Oh, okay. okay, so let's go back to their little hands. And yeah, I was like, the point was that, yeah, they actually restructured the campaign. The campaign took the more neutral form of I am with Syria using the colors of the flag. You see the, the Syrian flag, uh, red, white, black, and green. And there, my requests are your requests. So it's a little bit like more neutral, more like avoiding words like law, you know, because they, yeah, they would avoid uh, to have responses like the one that we just saw. Uh, but yeah, the funny thing is that even with this such like a more neutral campaign, I saw that. And this is actually was uh, a poster in Damascus. So somebody who was brave enough to hit the streets probably at night time 
with the marker and write, my requests are freedom. Or this one, my request, sorry, I am with freedom. Okay, so I thought, wow, this is incredible. And please, uh, you, you look at the time uh, of this, when these pictures were taken, which is still in 2011, but the remix that are user-generated went on on the internet and produced stuff like this one. Uh, there are so many remixes, I can translate now everything, but my favorite one is, I am with the law, yeah, but where is it? Or, <laughs> My way is your way, but on my way, there is a tank, you know? Or, you know, actually, uh, my point is that by watching uh, this campaign on the internet and the way the people are remixing it, you could really understand the temperature of the Syrian street. For example, this hand now saying, I want martyrdom. And this hand now saying, I love him, whether you like it or not. And this hand saying, I am arrested pointed out that so many people, thousands of them, are just disappeared in Syria. Um, so this is the nice thing about this campaign. It's really that you can uh, still, you know, it's still going on on the internet, uh, producing stuff also like this, more for the middle ground, which is whether opposition or pro-regime, you are still my brother. Or this one. Uh, volunteer, which is much more, you know, appealing to, uh, to people that now, after the situation went more violent and more violent, these people are saying, okay, let's build, rebuild the country together, whether opposition or pro-regime, let's do something together. And I love the fact that uh, the little hands are multiplying themselves. Um, so basically, my point is, when people told me, uh, yeah, but this is not hard, or other people told me, yeah, but this is not politics. Uh, because, of course, when you compare these little hands popping up uh, over the internet to more spectacular acts of political defiance uh, or even artistic defiance, like the first picture that we saw from uh, Jabir Lazme, uh, then, of course, the little hands are nothing, you know, it's just a remix. But my point is that the, the raised hands even if it's not art, even if it's not politics, the raised ends tell us something about society. Uh, tell us something that there are people, there is a civil society who is creating stuff. And the creative act is a political act indeed. And I want to pay tribute to this user-generated creativity, which is uh, mushrooming over the internet and over the Syrian streets, people that are anonymous, you know, or people that are not artists, like people like Kafir Nobel, a village I never heard about uh, after a long period in Syria, but I knew about them after the revolution. Uh, these people are dentists, are are farmers, and they started to produce slogans and posters. They became very famous. This one is uh, one they did for the uh, anti-Islam film. Um, or, you know, people like these guys from Homs, a place that has been destroyed, you know, by bombing by the regime. But still, these people, and actually, this is a Facebook group that uh, was born at the very beginning of the revolution, called it the Chinese Revolution. They were telling jokes and making fun of the revolution by using Chinese names like Bash or Al Assad, you know, this kind of thing. So this one, which is actually, uh, yeah, also coming from Homs, it's amazing, one of my favorites. Uh, they tell jokes about, you know, how they will wash the, the tanks, you know. Uh, it's a workshop for tanks, you know, washing tanks. Uh, basically, yeah, and this one also, you know, Hafez Lassa, this is Bashar's father, and this is a sculpture that was made by citizens uh, uh, near Idlib, you know. Um, actually, for those of you who read Arabic, I really recommend you to go to this website called Daulati. Unfortunately, still no English version, but this website is a treasure. It's a treasure for people that want to understand creative resistance in Syria. All the most famous groups are listed here. Many of them are anonymous, so we don't know who they are. But they are indeed, for me, a lively civil society, which is producing content, and it's actually giving us their own idea about citizenship, which is very important to me. And I want to end up by showing you this guy, Noor Hadem Zahra uh, is a graffiti man. Uh, his stencils were everywhere on the internet, and I learned uh, later that many Syrian exiled abroad 
did this, uh, and uh, they actually collaborate with uh, graffiti artists uh, in Syria on the ground. They did a graffiti uh, week back to April, and they were like distributing the stencil over the internet, and the graffiti spriers in Damascus and other cities were spraying everywhere. This guy, unfortunately, has been killed. And another Syrian artist called uh, Quan Zero, a cartoonist, did this to him uh, as a tribute, uh, actually yeah, painting the word freedom and he's killed. But still, his face is everywhere in Syria, you know, and will always be there, like all the other martyrs that uh, have fallen, unfortunately. And I want to end up by uh, quoting a friend of mine, uh, his nickname is Jamil, he's the director of a very famous uh, puppet show that you're going to see in one minute. Uh, puppet show called uh, Top Gun, it reached the, the second series already. Um, he said, back to a week ago in Amsterdam, we were together, and he said, uh, when people were asking him in the audience, so uh, what is the effect of your Top Gun shows on the, on the people in Syria on the streets? Are they taking inspiration from you? And he said, no, it's us, artists, taking inspiration from the people. And I thank you a lot. <laughs>and the use of public spaces led to a withdrawn attitude with often steered artistic creations toward the sphere of intimacy, partly to avoid political censorship. This position was also a subtle way to question the modes of identification and subjectivation of the marginalized citizen. Among the best known works adopting such a stance, one can quote films uh, such as Nuri Bouzid's L'Homme des Cendres or Mofid Atletli's La Saison des Hommes or else in the theater of Jalil Abakar or Fadal Jaibi. Few years before the revolution, January 14, uh, to uh, half uh, 11, multimedia installations, video works and performances, usually by female artists, dealing with womanhood and its social and cultural implications, have deliberately taken an existentialist approach 
when tackling uh, difference and exclusion. These fictional apparatus have, at different levels and more or less subversively, reappropriated the rear in order to highlight the various forms that domination and alienation can, can take. Uh, this, uh, for example, this, uh, art, the artist Helama shows a self-portrait where she is purified with blood to protest against the idea of impurity of the woman. Featuring linguistic, visual and sonic media, these works question the fake normality of the political cultural system. Alternative music bands, rappers, and one-man show performers subtly dealing with multifarious forms of repression and alienation have captured the imagination of young people looking for ways to express themselves. The continuing rejection experience, experienced by the artist as well as their frustration at the ministry based cultural policy have generated a genuine force of resistance and a desire to get rid of this incapacitating system. One mm -hmm. must note that the censorship ex ex exerted on the media, filmic and literary production has ended up creating a sort of self-censorship that has resulted in fewer and fewer interesting productions. What happened in Tunisia a few months before revolution has shown how much new media has been able to actualize, actualize the present and to anticipate events and how much these fictional apparatuses have become catalysts for action. Tunisian people's fights for freedom and dignity have been called youth revolution and super revolution. These revolutions have so risen through the image and his, its powers. It's clear that the use of the web has allowed the emergence of new forms of images that are informational, fictional, and creative. Combining speed, visibility, movement, and content, these systems have generate, generated real time, a communicative in real time, communicative and infectious intensity. Facebookers have exported the power of the images they produced and reproduced by, by passing the various forms of censorship and widely circulating photos of upheavals and acts of repression, not just as the mirror of a reality, but as a representation of the reality to come. These snape shoots often captured in dangerous situations with video cameras, cameras and mobile phones, have functioned like railing cries and thus have become participatory apparatuses allowing interactivity and shared creation throughout a system of transmission. Web users' imaginat uh, users, imaginative strength has contributed to undone the icon of power and to submitting them to various misappropriations in order to exercise the monster. These new approaches are part of a resistance through new forms of individuation from creative and designing social subjectivities. And their interactive and creat creative actions have revealed how perversely our perceptions are managed. Another form of artistic action is the street art. Oh, we are very far, no? Um, yes, street art. Uh, uh, several artists practice sev uh, street art uh, on the slide uh, in clandestinity before uh, the revolution, like uh, the, the group Solid Art, uh, who did a mural bloody clashes that took uh, place between demonstrators and security forces in Erdeif, city of Gafsa, meaning Basin, already in uh, uh, two half uh, eight. And uh, we have also um, the, um, the artist blogger Z. Uh, in uh, this mural, he presents through the figure of a girl who presents people who clings uh, to uh, the Tunisian flag. Uh, another way, here in also, uh, the artist Samir Mkadmi, who uh, made a video where uh, in uh, two, uh, 2009, uh, where faces of dictators of North Africa, you see them, disappear gradually under uh, the text of the Declaration of Human Rights. After the revolution, artists continue their struggle. 
uh, the event Spring Art Marsa is a contemporary art exhibition that took place from the first uh, to the 10th of June, last June, uh, in the north of Tunis, uh, the Palais Abdelia. During the last day of the exhibition, however, the three people, including a bailiff, asked the galleries to remove two paintings judged offensive, and that before 6 p.m. They warned that they would be back to make sure that the paintings had been taken down. The bailiff took several photos of them, which he later photocopi photocopied and handed out in the mosques. The galleries refused the ultimatum and alerted the artists and media of the truth. At 5 p.m., a group of sympathizers arrived at the exhibition, among them representatives from the political parties who had come to support the artists. It was at this moment that those, uh, those of, uh, objected, who objected to the work appar appeared, among them Salafists, began to, to protest violently, confronting the police uh, who were present at the exhibition. A campaign of, uh, campaign of denigration against the exhibition and the pieces judged to be an insult to religion began, began to gather pace on uh, Facebook and other platforms. Among those pieces was when representative the prophet, Muhammad. This image turned out to not even be part of the exhibition, but taken from a website showing works that had been exhibited last year in Senegal. In the night, works in the exhibition were targ targeted by the extremists, and from uh, that moment, the polemic began to gather steam, even reaching as far as the sermons given in mosques. This was the case of uh, the artist uh, Lemia Gmara painting, okay. painting, um, uh, Prus uh, Lemia, uh, who is Pr Prussian blue one, a painting of a man with eyes uh, sewn, suture with cut and carried away by this unknown. Prussian Blue is a work composed of three paintings, was done in Tunisia uh, between January and February uh, uh, to um, uh, the, the, the last February, shortly after the announcement of the result of the first democratic election in Tunisia. Only the frame with a piece of cloth remained. Uh, it still bears the imprint of its attackers and the signature of the artist. This also uh, was also the case of the installation Punching Ball of the artist uh, uh, Fetten uh, Gades about religious tolerance and about woman condition. This installation of Fetten Gades, where uh, she represents herself on uh, three punching balls in Jewish women, Christian women, and Tunisian women, uh, was burned. Several artists was, who participated and whose names were visible on Tunisian art websites began to receive death threats, which were both persistent and violent. The Ministry of Religion's Affairs condemned the incriminated paintings and raised the issue of limiting creativity in order to respect sacred values. values. Following this declaration, Using the supposedly sacrilegious artworks as a pretext, several incidents of violence and piaging took place in different towns, police station courts, and municipalities. Demonstrations called to protect Islam and to pass a law criminalizing all attacks on the sacred. The debate moved on to the Constitutional Assembly and provoked waves and earth unrest. Uh, to, uh, today, uh, this law is not, uh, 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 it's not inscribed in the Constitution. Both of these artists, Mohamed Ben Slema and Nadia Jlasi, were accused by the judge of uh, violating the sacred. Nadia Jlasi, who convened in last August at the courthouse, Nadia Jlasi, uh, who did uh, this uh, um, installation uh, representing uh, lapidation, Donc, euh, euh, was convened in late uh, August euh, at the courthouse and she was forced to be photographed as a criminal with the measurement technique. Coming home, she has reproduced the criminalizing act by photographing a ruler on her fast face and posted it on Facebook. On social networks, a great number of artists, and more and more, you know, put the photograph 
of their face or body with a tape measure uh, or roller to say uh, not to censorship, like Rashida Amara and Mini. Uh, this uh, in the middle, we have uh, the artist Natia Jlasi, and we have no uh, in, in, um, in, uh, mini, mini um, images like that. Today, uh, uh, the resistance of civil society to defend freedom of expression and creation gives a lot of hope and artistic life is also very dynamic and continuous. Thank you. Thank you. minutes for the discussion. Please join us, Rashida and Samir, who is an amazing uh, Tunisian artist, who uh, actually, uh, thank you. <coughs> okay, so Samir is a Tunisian artist who has been living in Oslo for a long time, right? And uh, he's also the artist behind uh, the installation in the windows that he did back in 2009. Yes, but um, for the presentation, I am a Norwegian citizen mm -hmm. uh, with background from Tunisia. So I, the work I made in 2009, it was um, actually, it's, it's a kind of process because this struggle was going on for 40 years or more. And you have a lot of uh, cyber activists who, uh, who um, were activating and working in this area very, very uh, hardly, and some of them are dead, some of them are in power now, and they are in place. The president was, were, were also um, a cyber activist too, uh, the, the actual president in uh, Tunisia, but now he has power and he is perpetuating this kind of tradition. He is not open up the, the, the scene. There is a lot of other kind of problems we have to face. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's a kind of, now we are in another phase. Mm. It's a very important uh, issue because we, we think maybe it's, um, everything is well and we are suddenly in a free country. And it's not like that because, uh, there, 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 there are a lot of dictatorship still in the, in the Arab countries, so, uh, and they, many of them get support mm -hmm. because they have a lot of money, they have a lot of oil. So you have the, the all, the, 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 uh, actually the, uh, the interesting things to see is how uh, Western countries have supported um, dictatorship and still support dictatorship because they have interest in that mm. and um, these kind of things we don't discuss here we don't discuss either the uh, the institutionalization of mm. uh, censorship um, the commodification of the artist there is a lot of uh, of these kind of things which are very crucial for us and uh, which are not uh, Approached I at all. totally agree, and I think yesterday also we had a very, there, were, there was a word, appropriateness, uh, instead of censorship in the, our capitalist uh, mm. countries. But let me ask you a very quick question to, to you, both of you being Tunisian. Uh, as you said, uh, uh, it's very different. The form of resistance that you can use now, even through art, in Tunisia is very different because the situation is very different from uh, before uh, 2014 uh, of January of 2011. So how uh, is as resistance changed in Syria now, in, sorry, in Tunisia now, and how the people or the artists are expressing this resistance? Je vais me répondre en français. C'est vrai. Déjà, ça fait déjà deux ans que l'espace public, d'abord, est ouvert aux artistes, ce qui change beaucoup de choses, et, et beaucoup d'espace aussi, c'est-à-dire que les artistes, je parle des artistes visuels, sont sortis par exemple des, euh, des, euh, comment euh, des espaces clos, et euh, tout est possible, hein, des initiatives sont prises, ceci dit, ils confrontent la censure, 
mais il, il n'y a plus cette l'autocensure n'existe plus. C'est ça qui est important, à mon sens. C'est ça qui est nouveau. Et euh, il y a une lutte constante. La lutte des artistes est une lutte citoyenne, c'est-à-dire que les artistes ont tout à fait conscience qu'ils luttent aussi pour d'autres valeurs que seulement la valeur artistique. Voilà, c'est ça qui est important. Well, basically, what, she, what, uh, what um, Rashida is saying is um, there is a new public space, the creation of new public space, which is taking place in uh, Tunisia. And there is a new conscious uh, of uh, the, the, uh, the, the significance and the importance of the public space and uh, the freedom of expression. And we have a new generation of artists uh, engaging in this space and doing things which are very important for, um, for uh, the uh, advancement and the promotion of uh, these values. Um, When it comes to, uh, to me personally, I think it's, uh, it's very important also not to forget because we have, it's very easy to focus on Islam like a kind of uh, uh, the black flag, you know, it's, it's uh, something which is evil and something which is very nasty. But we have to, to, to understand that the new reality, the reality which was completely veiled by the, the dictatorship in Tunisia, is that you have a, a, a society with culture. There is a culture already there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this culture, uh, Western country and the organizer of this uh, uh, seminar, they have to respect it. And to bring it here, not to veil it at all. So these kind of things, they are very important for us because now, when, as, as artists, when we are going to, to do something in order to promote the freedom of expression, we have to take account of the existing culture and to approach it in a respectable way in order to engage in a dialogue, not in uh, a confrontation. What we need is a dialogue. We are not interested in confrontation, and they are all the time bringing from and forward the confrontation. They are extremists who are challenging each other and taking the other, the, the whole population, as a kind of hostage. So we have to be careful with this kind of dialectic, which is very, very uh, 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 discriminating and, and uh, uh, suppressing uh, the, the, these, these spaces. We have to uh, broaden the spaces, not to shorten it. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm told that <laughs> another fire alarm will happen if we don't leave the stage. So thank you so much and welcome to the others.